Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a GTA 5 single player series. My name is Yo Adrian, and today we're going to be out here on the interstates in this snowplow made by Candice underscore 211 or EMTP underscore 211 as she goes by now. And I gotta say, it's one of the first, like, snow plows in the game. It's a really weird, rare snow plow. Um, and I'll go into that in a detail. It's not a brand name mod. It's been out for at least a year, a year and a half now. But today is actually the first time we're going to be end up using it. <clears throat> so I'm actually very, very, very excited. As you see here, it has snow fallen out here in Los Santos. It kind of stopped right now, but it's going to continue on throughout the day. Um, as you kind of see here, the interstate is completely dead. We already had an early morning uh, rollover crash, as you see over there from the snow. I guess uh, an individual lost control and ended up rolling his vehicle over. So we do have the police on scene, as well as we do have two other snow plows just on the side of the road right now, trying to make a game plan of what's going to happen, plan of attack and all that, and we're kind of just in the median right here. So basically what we're going to end up doing is just plow the roads and make them safer for the interstate for the early morning commute. But yeah, as you see, the individual is still actually flipped over in that vehicle. EMT should hopefully be on scene here soon. They're probably still trying to get on the interstate, trying to dodge the snow and all that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the snow plow. It's a DOT snow plow. Uh, it's actually like a more of a dump truck more than anything. But it's outfitted with a snow plow. It's got some nice lights up here on the front. And then it's got frosty windows, which is kind of cool. And we have a little salter back here, which is nice. Very, very, very nice. Probably should not be out on the interstate, but oh well. But yeah, it's a weird, kind of weird looking snowplow. The ones that we have out here in Illinois are actually just kind of curved. They don't curve in like that, but they're just kind of like a, kind of like a C kind of curve, kind of like this. But except it doesn't go inside, kind of like this one does. It doesn't like go as short as that. It kind of just stays the same distance and same length from each other all the way. Let's go ahead and hop in the cab here. Um, one thing you will notice that it is a default GTA 5 interior, unfortunately. So nothing too fancy. We do have a laptop here of where like a plan of attack so we can talk to our uh, other snow plows that are on the side of the roads over here. And we do have radio as well. It's on our hip right now. It's a uh, hip radio. It's not going to be like a CB radio or nothing like that. One thing though about this uh, snow plow is that I don't understand why it is, but it actually is. Is it's got ELS to it as you hear by the beeps, which is kind of awesome. Because we do have an ELS functioned um, snow plow. We do have a uh, single dome lights on the top of it, and we do have just random flashing lights. But as you see here, it's orange, and then if you come to the back here, it's blue, which kind of makes no sense, but it's kind of cool. But yeah, guys, that is the snow plow. Uh, let's go ahead and show up different customization options here. We got a couple different um, things, which, like I said, makes it kind of unique. Is I've never actually seen a snow plow with side plows before. We don't actually have them in Illinois. Because I've never, if we do, I've never actually seen them. But I, I have never seen, like, side plows like this before. It's really weird. But we're actually going to go ahead and use it so we actually get our uh, job done a lot quicker. But yeah, an EOS snow plow. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. But yeah, we're supposed to be doing this number one lane first. But yeah, as you see here, we do have a police um, utility, state police, state police <coughs> utility on scene. We do have a rolled over vehicle. Possibly it might be abandoned, honestly. I can't tell. No, there's an individual in the vehicle. But yeah, that's kind of a sad situation that that did happen. It's a very, very, very sad situation. And we're actually going to be out here just to make sure that none of that, that does not happen anymore. But we can't guarantee anything if it's going to continue snowing. Now, one thing you will notice is that it just makes tire tracks. It does not actually um, clean up the snow. Where it's kind of going to role play that out as it does. So unfortunately it's not going to be like the most realistic um, episode that we've probably done. But it's probably close to one. Um, like um, I don't know if whoever people that are out here that live in Illinois that watch this channel. You probably know that snow plows spend more time on the side of the road than they actually do on the road. Which to me is kind of stupid. But that's what they do. There was actually one time... And this was back when I was still working out at Target. Uh, it was a snowfall. Um, I was driving to work. Like the roads. It was about 7 a.m. It started snowing the night before. It was like probably around 7 or 8 the night before it started snowing. 
and there was a snow plow on the side of the road, like right as I got to my uh, main road. We're actually going to flip around over here. That's what they like to do is they just flip around most of the time. But yeah, there was a snow plow. He was on the side of the road just eating his breakfast. And I'm sitting there thinking, we're trying to sit, go over here and drive on these unplowed icy snowy roads and you're sitting on the side of the road eating a cheese or like a cheeseburger or look like a cheeseburger and i'm sitting there thinking are you kidding me dude are you really kidding me is that what they're really paying you for because like it didn't even the road didn't even look plowed whatsoever like you could have went over it no it was not plowed whatsoever and i was kind of pissed about it and then there was one other time this was actually more recent it was actually this year was a few weeks ago we had a made like not a major snowstorm but it was enough snow to like make the road sticky or like very very slicky and covered snow covered completely um can i actually move this stuff off the road yeah that's not good for those being on the road that's definitely not good there we go right, that's definitely not good being on the road like that but um this was a more recent story and it took, usually it's like a 10 minute drive from where I was headed to, to the middle point of where I was going to. And I was actually headed to work and it was about an hour drive from where I was at. And to the main middle point where I usually go, it's like a 10 minute drive between here and where I actually work at. But I had to go down to a different store that day. So it was more of a drive, more of like a half hour drive. And it usually takes me like a 20 minute drive to my normal store. And this took me a 30 minutes to do a 10 minute drive. I did not see a single single snow plow when I first like got on the road and stuff it wasn't too bad like it just it hadn't start snowing but it was like snowing snowing and then it just kept getting worse and worse as my drive so I ended up calling off and um because I literally got there went to the Casey's grabbed the drink and ended up calling off saying that I can't do this drive like it's uh it's it's horrible like it's so slow and I can't do the drive and what none we're actually gonna flip back around here if we can. Uh we might not be able to yeah we can. And we'll just start doing the number two line. But yeah, it was horrible. So I called off and then of course as soon as I'm trying to get back on the road, like driving back home, I was going about twenty the entire way. That's how bad the roads were. And of course you get those fucking dicks and four by fours in the snow driving like trying to tailgate you driving like 40 50 down the road and then they're fucking overtaking you and shit like that which really pisses me off honestly that they do that and the next thing you know you see them in the ditch i can't i mean i can't help but laugh because i know karma will probably bite me in the ass but it is kind of funny that you know they do that and the next thing you know like two three miles down the road they're in the ditch and they're waving you down like no fucker you tailgated me and you almost made me go off the road you think i'm gonna fucking help you i don't think so bud so yeah that's just kind of my experience with that. <laughs> that is just my experience with that. But yeah, like I said, it's a very, very, very weird snowplow. And then, of course, that one day um, when I did call off, the new manager down there was bitching at me. Because probably, supposedly, she got seven teeth pulled that day and I called off was an inconvenience for her. And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm going to call off, one, because I'm not going to be driving all this way out. And then, of course, they close at 10, so I'll be driving there back home at, like, 10, 1030 and getting home at, like, I don't know, 1130, maybe even 1230, depending on how slow to drive. Because all that shit's just going to freeze later on, and I'm sitting there like, I'm not dealing with that shit. You know, I'm not going to sit there and drive on icy roads in the middle of the fucking night just so your store can stay open. Like, that's bullshit. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to risk my life for your store. Like, it's just, it's just not going to happen. So yeah, just a couple different like snowplow stories, and then like of course in Illinois, you never see a snowplow when you need to, or if you do, they're always just like doing this. They'll do like one section of the highway, the salter won't even be on, the snowplow will be on, then they'll just do this, and then they'll just kind of keep plowing over the same damn thing. So like this, we already plowed over this one time, they'll just keep doing this, and then, and then, and then, guess what? They'll do this, they'll plow over the same damn road again. And then they'll go do another U-turn again over there. And they'll keep going back around in circles. And I'm sitting there thinking, you'll work in a team. And you guys do the same fucking road over and over again. Your salter's not even on. You're just sitting there plowing it. And it's not even getting plowed. Because you're plowing it into the opposite lanes. And you're just taking it with you. It's like, how stupid are these people? But I understand they're Illinois state workers. And 
Illinois state workers just kind of do what they want to do, I guess. <laughs> I'm not trying to bash them or anything, but I mean, hell, when it comes to snow removal, they they need probably either better training or more people or something like that. Because I even heard that in Illinois, it's against the law for like me to put a snow plow in the front of my truck and go plow like the main roads or like the back roads or something. I guess it's against the law to do that, which I think is kind of stupid. Because if you're on a back road, the back roads usually never get plowed. Usually they just wait until um, they uh, thaw out. But if I wanted to go like rent a truck and go put a snow plow on it and then go plow the back roads, I should be able to. So other people that live out on those boon, like out in the boondocks, don't have to worry about you know slipping and sliding on their way to work, getting their car in the ditch, coming out of their driveway. Like I feel like that'd be a like a more courtesy thing to do instead of making it against the law. But that's Illinois for you. <laughs> but I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's going to end right here only because this is kind of getting repetitive. And I feel like you guys are just sitting here watching me like this is the stupidest video I've ever made. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you smash that like button. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think as well. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I doubt you'll want to see another one like this. We're not going to do another one like this. Make sure you drop it down in the comments below. As well as hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram as well as join that Discord server. You guys are truly awesome. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.